If you're going to slow braise lamb, you've got to choose the right cut. And the best cut for me is the shoulder. This is actually the shoulder blade. It's a piece of meat that does a lot of work. So when you braise it nice and slowly, it becomes succulent and delicious. You're loving that, aren't you? Well, I love the way you talk about meat. Well, to yeah. me, this is beautiful. Now, I'm just going to score it through here with a knife and just give it a couple of deep grooves here. What I want is the flavour to penetrate the lamb. You want that flavour... In the meat. Exactly, yes. in the meat where it belongs. So I just cut it all the way across there like that. A good sharp knife does that. Now we've got to season it up and add flavour. Mm. I like a little bit of cumin mm. and just a little sprinkle of that on the top here. And yes. you can see I'm using like a, a tray. I want to catch all the marinade in here. Okay. And normally I would marinate this for, you know, at least overnight, possibly two days. Go for it. Do it. Load it on there. Go load on. it on there. Okay. And then I've got some oregano. You can use marjoram yes. as well. The that is Greece for me. That is a Greek flavour. Oregano, lemon. Exactly, yes. exactly. Now, rosemary is such a Greek thing. I just pull it straight off like this. And I never buy rosemary because I know where all of the rosemary plants are. And I'll just go around there with so my... So do I, Rick Chew, and I've got one in my garden. Oh, so well... if you were nice enough to me, you might be able to get some rosemary. Well, I walk past in the middle of the night with my little secateurs, pull it out and pop them into my little backpack. Rick Chew's a neighbourhood thief. Exactly, Good exactly. So I bunch it together and you can see I'm bruising the rosemary yes. and that helps to bring out the oils and the flavour. Now grab some pepper over there and I'll grab some salt because mm. you need plenty of salt because salt loves meat, meat loves salt and nothing love salt more than lamb slow braised mm. in the oven. That's it, beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And then we just make sure we turn that over as well, season okay. the other side. Salt. Exactly, and that's why I've got this tray oh. here, because I can scoop up all of this seasoning and pop it on here like this. Now, the next stage here is we're going to seal this off in a hot pan. We want to brown it off so we get that caramelisation, that Maillard effect on the outside of it, and that's what makes it taste good. So over to the hot pan. Now here's my trick, the pan is really hot, so I put the lamb straight in there and then pour the oil in. So what's the reason for that? Well, if you've got a really hot pan and then you've got something heavy like a lamb shoulder, mm. you drop it, you can splash yourself, it's yes. really dangerous. OK, we'll get rid of this tray here, perfect. And the next thing we'll do is get everything ready for the uh, for the braise. So nice. we've got a little pot here and that's nice and hot. If you want to chop up some of this, this is the fennel tops. Yes. So I love the flavour you get from it. So if you chop that up, some rosemary. The tops. Exactly, I chop it up. I throw this. You do? No. Oh, no. The aniseed okay. It's good flavour. And I've got garlic, just slice that in half. Onions. Now, we want to keep the veggies nice and coarse because this is going to cook in the oven for quite a while. So if the veggies are really big, they'll hold up to the uh, length of time that it takes to cook. And that's really important. You don't want mushy veggies. So if you cut it really small, they'll be mushy in no time. Fennel, onion, mm. carrot, these are great vegetables. And the fennel, I mean, I that's, love, that's grease, isn't it? I love fennel. Yeah. I love fennel. It's a great thing, and I believe it's got plenty of vitamins and minerals and all these lovely things it's in there. It's a rainbow, of course it does, it's Richo. Of course it does. This is why I keep harping on about them. We love and rainbows. And it gives you such a lovely flavour, that aniseed. I'm thinking with all these rainbows, I'm thinking there's maybe a leprechaun at the bottom of the rainbow holding a pot of gold for us. What do you think of that? Possibly. Possibly. Is this going in there? Throw it in there, okay, load it up. Okay, the fennel, life change. Exactly. And what I do is just sweat this off a little bit. You can see I've got a bit of oil in there. It's starting to sweat down a bit. If you want, you can pick some of that rosemary and throw it in so the rosemary softens up as it goes. Now, rosemary is a strong herb, so you don't want to overdo it. But then again, we're cooking a low, slow braise. It is Greek food, so mm. you can get away with throwing a bit of extra rosemary in there. Now, I'll turn this over so you can see yeah. that beautiful colour on the outside there. And I'll just stir that around to make sure we brown both sides. Now, we could stir this around and sweat it all down, but I know this is going to be in the oven for a while, so what I'll do is pick it up like this, to make sure I turn this one off, pick it up like this and pop it straight into the top here. So this is in here. I want you to pass me the liquids. First, I'll squeeze some lemon in there because we need plenty of lemon juice in there. Red wine vinegar is fantastic. So Exactly, squeeze it on there. Greek, um, I have to say, it's really often quite simple flavours. I'm thinking of Greek food. You're sitting in Greece. It's often lemon, oregano, rosemaries. Oh, my goodness, so glorious. I get the feeling that the Greeks love life, so they don't want yeah. to spend too much time cooking. It's got great ingredients and off they go, so they want to spend their time by the beach or doing fun things. Now, you need some stock in there, you need lots of flavour, so this is a great stock. You can pour it over the top, easy to buy, and it's handy to have these just in the pantry when you need that extra bit of flavour. So I'll hand that over to you. Now, this is going to go into the oven. I'm going to cook it at 160 degrees Celsius. 
for about three hours, sometimes a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less, depending on the oven and the lamb, etc. But what I look for is when I take the lid off, I give it a bit of a poke, and if it falls apart, then I know it's cooked. You want to catch it just as it's falling apart. So into the oven, 160 degrees Celsius, and we'll get this cracking. Here you go, Priya. Look at that. Wow. Smells fantastic. It does. It? it does. Three hours later. Now, I'll just pick it up like this. You've got to be careful when you pick it up. I've let it rest there for a little bit. It is really soft and tender, so pop it onto there like that. And if you want to, you can take the lid off about half an hour before you take it out of the oven, yes. and that will dry out the top of it and crisp it up a little bit. But I like to keep it like this, nice and moist over oh, the top. Oh, wow, veggies on top. Yeah, slow wow. it up. Well, the veggies have been slow cooked. They're, yeah. they're going to taste wow. like the lamb, and all the juices in there are really important. This is beautiful. And, of course, we've got a lovely little fresh salad here because we've got the heavy braised lamb. You know, it's got a lot of big flavours in there, so to lighten it up and freshen it up, you know, you can have a little salad on the side, but I like to just bring it to the table mm. with a little garnish of herbs and fennel on the top of it, wow. lots of lemon juice and mint and all those nice things, a bit of rosemary, maybe even some oregano in there, and that's a cracking dish. That's fantastic, isn't it? It is. Wow. Are we going to tuck just... into it? We are. I'm ready. Go right. for it. I'm just going to peel it. And this is what I want to show you. It just mm. falls apart. The meat is so tender, it just comes apart so easily. The flavours in that are beautiful. You've literally taken us to Greece. I love this freshness on top. And I can imagine that on the dinner table. I think I might steal this one.